Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's actually been a little while since I posted any mandala painting and I've gained a few followers since then so I decided it is time to show the video on this amazing piece I did about a month or two ago. So this is a mood mug with a mandala painting on it and basically it just changes colors when it comes into contact with heat. So I've used thermochromic powders and I mix them with some acrylic paints that are in a room. So once they bake, they are basically waterproof. You can put them in the dishwasher, microwave them, put water on them. It really will last forever. So this is more about a tutorial or just me showing the process of how I go about doing these mugs. And as you can see, I do a base coat and then I do a design. And next time I do this, I probably won't do the whole design on pencil because it was really hard for me to take off. And also I didn't stick to the design to 100%. I kind of deviated from it at some points depending on how I felt about it. And also the fact that I use different methods to draw and paint my mandalas on other surfaces. So what I do recommend is that you use this tip point bottles, which are very common for hand painting on your hands. I use this a lot for my mandala, whether it's for enamel painting on monks or just regular painting on canvases. It takes me a little while to coordinate the colors I want to use so that they contrast well, as well as some of these colors change once it's in contact with heat. So in order for me to coordinate them, I kind of have to put them right next to each other so that when they change color, they don't blend with the other ones. I use a mixture of painting tools, including a pencil. And what this allows me to do is move the paint however I want it. So I'll start with dots and then use a pencil to elongate a line. Mostly I use a painting pen and uh, the point tip bottles. They are really precision tools so it allows me to control the flow and I find it a whole lot easier than painting cones which are very popular with mandala artists. Unfortunately, I feel that they create a lot of waste and so with these I can re-pour the paints that I want into the bottles and since I don't change the colors that very often, it works for me. But if you're constantly changing the colors, it doesn't make sense to pour a whole bunch of paint into a bottle because then you're going to have to clean it out and that's a waste of paint. I wanted to also show you that it's a free flow type design, like just go with it. That's what makes the beauty of the mandala. I had a lot of fun painting this and I know the client or it was actually my ambassador who wanted this since this was a piece I had made for a giveaway. She absolutely loved this mug. It is a 17 ounce mug and I probably will be making another one for sale but it took me over five hours just to paint it and that's not counting the many times I had to bake this because you have to do this in layers. So here's the final piece. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at all of that detail. All the changes in colors. And then now I want to show you the process of what happens when it comes in contact with heat. So I'm using my heat tool so it can be faster and when it cools down it basically goes back to the original color i hope you enjoy this don't forget to like and share thank you so much